Hello there and welcome to this episode of the website Teardowns and today we have a beautiful template which we're going to be tearing down and that is called Grammarly. Now here it is on the screen. For those of you that don't know what Grammarly is, Grammarly is a tool that you can plug into your browser or even have an app online. You can log in and you paste in all of your text that you've written for your long articles and things and it really just goes through and helps you clean up all the typos and all the grammar checking and things like that. It's a very slick tool and it's got a lovely little user interface as well. And of course it has a beautiful landing page and a sales page. So I'm going to run down it just now and show you a few things on this page. Um, firstly, uh, what I'll do is I'll go over the page here then I'll show you our page afterwards that we've made side by side. So here is the Grammarly page and you can see straight away as I scroll at the top there it pops in add to Chrome, nice little button that jumps in there, very nice little feature. And what I want you to do is watch this screen on the right hand side here as I scroll on down, okay? So we've got this lovely call to action area here, very clear writing font as well, and a clean page as you can see. It's um, obviously for writing you want very minimal distractions, it helps people write, you can see a preview here. So I think their sales page also reflects that as well. It's very clean, lots of white space, and it's quite um, minimal sort of. Um, let's go down this page. Anyway, as, you, as I scroll down, you can see what happens on the right is another feature pops up. And that's a beautiful touch what they've done with um, how they've coded that. Possibly done with some CSS. I've not looked into it. You could do it with CSS, changing the images and switching out the graphics there. And as I keep going, it pops up again, and it pops up again like that. Very nice little touches. That done here to that page and as we go to the next section it comes up and it just pushes the browser or pushes that laptop up there and you can see we come into this section here and it's showing you some more features that are included on this page so a lovely little page to start with very clean as you can see throughout nice combination of colors keeping their green and that consistency from their logo and at all times that sticky nav at the top so you can add it to chrome um, testimonial straight in there a bit of social proof more spacing, we drop into the header or this headline here and then it's another three sections covering some features that are nicely done. Nice little images here, circle images. And then we go on down, another testimonial. Great shot of lots of users. Lots of social proof there. Very powerful to see that. And um, proving they have a community, showing their community and then backing it up with numbers. And these actually link through to the Grammarly page, each of these, very nicely done. And then to this section, another call to action, add to Chrome, beautifully done. Then we drop down into this last footer section where they clearly break up all the different links in that footer here. So lovely page all over, very clean, minimal distractions and some lovely little design touches. I'm gonna to show you our page. Um, some things we coded, some things we couldn't code in, like this CSS, but let's have a look. Here's our page that we've created. So we've gone for the laptop positioned over on the right hand side there and we've got this large call to action area, very similar to how they've done theirs on the left hand side. And then ours is uh, showing the overlay optimizer when you click on it, it pops up. If we go down, so we then go down to the next section, which is this sort of area here with these three benefits or sections and the testimonial. So go down to ours, we included a few more, so we put in another six sections. And then we've put in that testimonial across the top here. And this is not just a testimonial element. We've coded it with the image and text aside. You'll see that in the teardown, how we sort of create these kind of testimonials. Then we drop down into their section again. They've got this big headline here. And then we go into three sections underneath. So we created similar. We've done the big headline across. Then we've done the circle images done with CSS. Show you that in the teardown as well. Then we go into section. We've included six blocks here and then into theirs we included that testimonial or sorry they've got a testimonial and then they've got their social proof banner going across so we created a similar graphic there as you can see dropping down into our social section or our community section like they've done there as well okay so this is a beautiful template and um, what they've done nicely is they've just laid things out slightly differently to the conventional way that you see on some sites you know with landing pages showing you know social icons going horizontal but they've just broken things up differently you know putting them down the side here putting the numbers on them and then you can see over on the right so and they've got that call to action we include that call to action and then they drop down into the footer there 
So we've got our same overlay optimizer coming in here and then we drop into our large footer section. So that's it. That's really the page. Um, if you want to watch the full teardown, obviously it's below this video. You can go down and watch the complete teardown as we walk you through building this entire page. And it's all based off the beautiful Grammarly page. And as always, I highly recommend you, if you write a lot of blog posts, um, go and get the Grammarly plugin, try it out, see if you like it. I mean, it's a super tool. It's got a very clean interface and the little Chrome extension plugin really makes it easy for when you're even writing an email out, like inside Gmail, for example. Um, it's a beautiful little app. Go and try it out. If you do a lot of writing, um, it's definitely worth checking out, seeing how they do things, seeing how they, um, you know, grammar check, how they spell check and things like that. Um, so that's Grammarly. Go try it. That's our teardown. Go watch it. Tear it down and show us what you've done with your own sites if you use this template in your own businesses. And as always, thank you for taking the time to watch the teardowns. I know they're long. Hope you enjoy them. Comments and questions, just post them all below and we'll see you in the next teardown video.